Hey guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil. So, before we actually get into this, just a quick word. Um, I might sound a little bit rough. I actually had COVID. <laughs> yeah, we resisted it for like two years, and uh, then suddenly you came down with it last Saturday, which is going to have no context because uh, this video won't be going up for a while. Um, so I've actually had like four days off work now. Tomorrow is going to be day number five because I'm still definitely not feeling ready to walk around for ten hours in the heat outside. <clears throat> um, so that's fun. Uh, and I, I'm, I'm missing recording. Like I'm at home right and if I'm at home I want to be recording I want to be doing something productive so we're gonna play some Resident Evil um, I did start watching the new uh, Netflix Resident Evil show uh, me and the missus because we're both really sick for oh well we, we, we've got COVID we'll sit down and we'll watch the Resident Evil Netflix show Made it about 10 minutes in <laughs> before I'm like looking at her thinking, uh, this looks trash, like really bad. Um, yeah, I'm not even going to get into like how just terrible the characters were and everything. But anyway, we soldiered on through, we broke out the Ben and Jerry's, we got, we pushed on till 40 minutes into the first episode bear in mind we actually paused it a couple of times um to go do other things that's how good it was it's like you're sitting in bed watching something and you think oh uh better go uh uh spin the washing yeah I'd go spin the washing come back sit down watch another 10 minutes yawn um oh better go um check on the cats and 40 minutes rolls around and check how long the episode is it's an hour i'm like really an hour for this like no we're done finished anyway that was garbage so let's continue with some actual resident evil so if i sound rough or whatever that's the reason why but i'm okay i'm loaded up with monster so what's the worst that could happen? Five days off work though. Never had that before. Well, <laughs> at least not in the last decade. A whole week. Ugh. I can't even remember where we were. I've slept for over 48 hours. Madness. Uh, usually I sleep four hours a night. <laughs> tops um campaign cool let's go continue yeah so this is day five of having it previously on resident evil do we need to watch this previously bullshit probably not let's just get into the game a little earlier mediterranean sea Oh, I think Chris is actually. The Queen now. Oh God, I remember this bit. Roger. We'll be waiting. Okay, see you soon. Chris out. That's it. Queen Zenobia. Oh jeez, more like what's left of her. I'm pretty sure she's mostly intact. Just saying. Stay sharp. There's something out there. Yep. Gee, this is a bit of a throwback to Resident Evil 5, isn't it? Okay, let's go. We've got these giant, like, tentacle things. Uh, I, this, yeah, parasites, I believe they are. This is really awful. Um, I actually hate these, like, turret sections. Oh, these tentacles are so annoying. Yeah, I know. Oh, the gun overheats this time as well. That That's also fun. We like it when the guns overheat. But we do have grenades. So that's cool. 
Looks like the gun actually overheats really quickly. Now, I'm not actually sure here. Um, if we have to kill like X amount of these guys, or if this is just like a time thing. I think it's a time thing because Queen Zenobia is getting closer in the distance. Oh, we're gonna need heal. I'm kind of expecting to die here a couple of times. Yeah, this is awful. <laughs> Look how slow the bullets fire. Like, uh, it's really bizarre. Just the physics of this game in general. So yeah, see the Queen Zenobia is actually getting closer to us. Which is good. And we do have a grenade launcher, which is nice. Uh, the good thing about the grenade launcher is it is unlimited, I believe, and it recharges. So, there's that. Accuracy is going to be awful, as I'm sure you can imagine. There's so many of these worms coming, like, Jesus, you can't see. You cannot see. I think they're supposed to be parasites. Oh, dear. Tank, tank. Oh, we're out of herbs. That's bad. That's really bad. I think we're out. I think we're done? We need to get spot to yeah. The Zenobia. Okay. Got through the parasites. Yeah, that is a terrible, terrible section. We can board from here. Jessica, we have a promise to keep. Let's go. What are you doing? Just the two of us. Only the whole thing is sinking. Oh, I hate her so much. Friendly BSAA patrons. You stopped the Verdia Solis. Now I will reveal what I know. <laughs> Everything about the Queen Zenobia and the secrets she keeps. Oh, God. What secrets? Consider this. First. Why did it take till now to find the Queen Zenobia? How was it able to float around the Mediterranean undetected? It wasn't magic. Second, why did all traces of Veltro vanish after the Terragrigia panic? Why don't you tell us, huh? This guy literally knows the cameras are rolling. Third, He's putting on the best performance of his life. Regia Solis to destroy the Zenobia. The answer to those questions will lead you to an inconvenient truth. You were to have found it, and that. What a pretentious dickhead! Jessica, why did you fire? To protect our people. Isn't that our job? <laughs> Don't you dare die! Why? Why play the part of Veltro? What do you mean? Find the truth about Terragrigia. Yeah, now, if he stopped smelling his own farts and, you know, got to the point, <laughs> I guess, you know, uh, that would have cut significant time off the game. Yeah, what a dramatic ass, though. Seriously. You gotta love it. That's Resident Evil for you. Right. Anyway, wow, we got triple S, baby. Really? 22% accuracy is an S? Wow. I got a really low rank, uh, I think, when I played this on the Xbox. But, you know, I was using an analog stick, which is, <laughs> you know, basically like shitting in your hand and clapping. So, you know, but 22%, Jesus. Anyway. 
Use physical attacks on enemies when they falter. Yes, boss. What a terrible loss. I hope you feel bad, Jessica. Ugh. The ship doesn't have much longer. We can't let this virus contaminate the sea. We've already searched the Queen Samiramis. So I think I know where this ship's lab is. We're headed there now. All right. I'll try to find a way to delay the sinking. Jessica, you with me? Yeah. Well, a little friendly partner swapping should keep us on our toes. <laughs> Roger that. We'll take care of the virus. You two buy us some time. Got it. Jill, this works anywhere, even underwater. It should slow those things down. Thanks, Chris. Yeah, it's a grenade, also, by the way. I've marked off all the possible locations for the lab. I know it kind of looks like something else, but never got the hint. What a drag. Maybe he's already taken, Jessica. Yeah. I don't think he's interested. <laughs> oh, no. I forgot about that. I forgot about that. Um, okay, so I think we've already read this. Uh, I'm at my wit's end, so we, oh yeah, yeah, we've gone ahead, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So this was all Raymond's doing? No. I think we've only heard half the story. There's a lot about this mission that doesn't make sense yet. Look at those arms, man. Jesus Christ. Right, anyway, uh, so we don't actually have anything else. Nothing new. Oh, yeah, we um, lowered the capacity of our uh, rifle, didn't we? Oh, I was wondering what the hell that noise was. I mean, it's just ambience. All right, so we're good to go. And we've got nine. This is also nice. All right, you can bugger off, you. Really don't have time to be playing with you. Well, maybe we do. Let's try and waste as few of these bad boys as possible. Really? Oh, <laughs> For fuck's sake. Yeah, we're going, we're going, we're going. We're going through the bilge. The water is infested with infected. Yeah. Yeah, it's literally like swimming with them. <laughs> See what I did there? Swimming with it. Yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Right, anyway. Let's go. To the bilge. Oh, you little son of a bitch. As I said, the good thing with these guys is they don't actually hurt you. They don't cause any damage. They just cause you to lose a bit of oxygen. Which, you know, is required for living. That one took a little while to take the bait there. I think you can, like, take three grabs from these guys before you um, suffocate completely. So... You know, there's that. Actually, it might be more than that. Okay. That's three of these things dead. Which is good. The only good infected is a dead infected. Wait, do I count as an infected? Yeah, maybe. Infected with a C virus. Ooh. Like it. Alright, anyway. Up. Oh down get through the bilge as quick as possible you know I actually uh, kind of forgot how many times they do recycle this bilge passage you know what grab me that's fine you can die it really is okay there's oxygen just above us uh, I'm not sure I don't know it it's a strange like gameplay decision to make them only affect your oxygen Considering they're literally biting and tearing at your flesh. Uh, but hey, you know, well, what do I know, man? I don't know nothing. I'm not a biologist. So, by that logic, if I get attacked by a shark when I'm out swimming in the sea, um, do I just, like, do I, does my oxygen level go down? Or does my health bar go down? I might have to try that one day. What happens? Okay. 
Now, are we going up? I, oh, uh, hi, Chris. Uh, put some damn pants on, for God's sakes, man. Okay, well, we'll take some shotgun shells. Whew, I tell you what, man, it's hard to breathe, I tell you. It's surprising. Just how much it really does kind of kick your ass. I know a few people that uh, had it fairly lightly. I think my mum's had it like four times now. Um, but yeah, it really does a number on you. I mean, I've had some bad flu uh, before. It's out of order, of course it is. Um, I've had some really bad flu before, but it's definitely something a little bit different, I tell you. Okay, uh, I think Chris has gone back into the water. Oh, wait, hang on. Are we supposed to go and manipulate the controls? I don't think we are. I don't think we're supposed to be up here at all. Oh, sweet mother of God. Maybe. Maybe we are. Hanging ammo. Hang really? It's all this hanging ammo, man. I mean, come on. Aha. What a handprint. I don't know how many handprints I've found. Um, on the Xbox, I got them all. But because this uh, playthrough is scattered over like so many different runs, I think I've completed this once personally. Uh, we did it for the channel, and uh, I guess we're doing it again now. So I've got like 121 hours of this game on Steam, apparently. Which is, you know, pretty mad. I got a feeling quite a lot of that time was because I never turned my computer off. And this game was probably running in the background. But, uh, shh, don't tell anyone. Oh, I remember where we're going. I remember where we're going. We got the new key card now, haven't we? Oh, this is to the lab. Yeah, Trident key. Exactly the same. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I could die happy. Right, okay. On the St. Miramis, eh? Now, I just started watching a friend um, play Snatcher as well. Which is actually the guy that I'm I'm doing the raccoon uh, operation raccoon city with now. How have I how have I just somehow missed Snatcher? What a epic looking game that is! I'd love to try that. Yeah, it only came out on the Mega CD and was it Sega Saturn as well? What a crime, man! Right, oh, legendary parts. What do we get? Damage seven. Whoa. Okay. And we can put what? Jesus. Yeah, that that's that's a bit of a difference. Whoa. We can put that on the rifle. Oh dear. To be fair, even sticking that on the handgun, well, no. I mean, the rifle was basically like a one hit KO anyway. So, maybe putting that in the shotgun wouldn't be a bad shout. Or would it? What would be the best use? Uh, I mean, I suppose if we put this on the rifle, it really does guarantee whatever we hit is dead. Um, now, uh, Magnum as well, I suppose. Yeah, like this bad boy. Like 150 times. 
that's what. So double that would be 3,150. So you're looking at 3,500 damage. Yeah, that's a lot. Alright, well, let's just keep that with this for now. But that's... That's meaty. Damage plus 7. I don't know what the highest rank um, parts are, actually. I'm guessing they'd probably go up past 7, because 7 doesn't make a lot of sense. Now, it's going to get rough through here. Fingerprint. Oh, right. Yes. Fingerprint recognition system. We can go fiddle with this thing over here. Registering fingerprint. Fingerprint registration complete. Man, who would have thought it would be this easy to break into a top secret lab? I mean, technically, you know. It's an abandoned lab, so... I guess there's that. Ooh. Please enter the sterilization room one at a time. Illegal custom parts. Does actually make me wonder, you know. Um, are illegal custom parts better than legendary? I'm not actually sure. I would have thought so. Narrow one. Uh, that doesn't really sound that great. Just now. Oh, actually, it narrows the spread. You know, that might not be an awful thing. Narrow. By 12 degrees. Because that's going to focus more pellets on the target. I mean, let's try that, shall we? Should allow more pellets on the target. Sure. We can experiment with these things. Pretty sure we can read that, yeah. Uh, oh, Scar... What is Scarmigalone? Scarmigalone development. Yeah, these things, they're the weird shark. So Lancelot things. It's a biodiversity that uses the well-suited DNA of a shark. The genetic makeup of sharks has changed very little during their history as predators for millions of years. And the use of that DNA provides the fierce aggression in these weapons. The Skarm, Skarmy Galone form uh, and colour resembles that of its shark ancestors, and its spiny appendages resemble lances. The spines are a characteristic of uh, cartiling. Um, cartil I can't read, and I'm going to cough myself to death in a minute. Oh, thank God for a mute button. Um, yeah, so fish with lots of cartilage, I guess. They form when an area of um, placoid scales mutate and combine with their hardened muscle fiber. This allows the creatures to use piercing attacks and move with as much agility as land animals. On top of this, uh, the scales are as strong as an armored car, far surpassing the scales of a normal shark. This gives them unparalleled frontal defenses. Yeah, I mean, this isn't like a big surprise here because we've already fought these guys before, but this is supposed to be the big reveal when we first see them. These guys really suck. But that's okay. We can hit it with the force of a magnum. What the in... Where? Oh. Not really sure. Ah, it's coming from over there. Cool. Well, that wasn't quite activated then. Come on. Oh, I think we hit it. Yeah, that's fine. You can come for me. Oh, didn't quite get the dodge down there. I 
think we dodged? No, we didn't. <laughs> it's hard to tell sometimes. Yeah, these guys are a little rough. To say the least. But that's okay. I think we got him. Yeah, we got him. Need to stop relying on charging our weapon up. It's okay. I'm fine. Yeah, just a few broken bones. Actually, there's a handprint in here somewhere. Unless we've already got it. They're not too difficult to avoid. I can't remember where the handprint is. I think it's on the tank somewhere. Maybe. Some shotgun shells. I'm sure there's a handprint here. In fact, I know there is. But we might have already got it. In a previous playthrough. Rifle ammo. Nice. Pulse grenades. Yeah, I think we only have 10. Oh, very nice. Yeah, it's a shame, really, that the ham prints don't... If not respawn every time you play. Um, it would be nice if they um, had, like, a ghostly appearance or something. Because I always find, like, you know, if you're going to play a game multiple times, but you can only get the collectibles once, you don't always 100% learn where they are. Like, if you collect the collectible... Oh, hey, hi, hello. Was not expecting that. Yeah, see, if I made a game, if you collected the uh, collectibles, I would make it so... They would just be like ghostly or something. So they're still kind of there, but not really. Right, come on, Shark Boy. Give it a nice charge. Ooh, yes. Right through the main cavity. Or something. Okay. Yeah, don't remember one being in there before. <laughs> nice little surprise for us people playing it on Inferno, I guess. Now, we are almost out of time, apparently. Um, yeah, can't believe we've been playing for nearly half an hour already. Doesn't seem real. Ooh. Oh, God. Yep. I hate those things. Now, in theory, single shots should be enough. Yeah, these crawling ones do more damage. Oh, not do more damage. But they're faster. Good point. I hope we can find out what the hell's going on. Ooh, that'll work. That will work nicely. Don't worry, Chris, I got this buddy. Yeah, now they have a really long range on that weird like spinal cord of this. Ooh. I'm gonna have my case. Sure, why not? Now there is a and print here somewhere. We should, yes. Yeah, so we've got oh, yeah, we got like maximum herbage. Yeah, there is a hand print. It's on one of these side pieces, but again, it looks like. Hey there, fella. Just chilling. Put that right through your asshole. There you go. At least I... Yeah. No, there definitely was a handprint in here somewhere. Alright. Well, let's keep going. This is quite a serious lab. 
for some two-bit terrorists. So this is the secret of Zenobia. This room is not going to be fun. Like, really not going to be fun. All on the line. Hey! Happy with that. So there we go. That's... Wow. Wow. So we really are now moving into the last stages of the game. Like I say, um, that particular room that we just have moved into, I'm expecting that to be fairly stiff resistance. <laughs> wow. 31st of the 5th, 2013. Wow, that's nearly a decade ago. Jesus. Anyway, um... Yeah, that's going to be rough. But apart from that, we should be good to go. Oh, and the final boss. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.